Hello friends, my name is Gisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, this video is the continuation of my previous video tutorial where we have learned uh, how, how we can define default and static method in interface in Java 8. So Java 8 introduces a new concept of default method implementation in interfaces. This capability is added for backward compatibility so that old interfaces can be used to leverage the lambda expression capability of java 8 so what is lambda expression and how we can write lambda expression that is the next thing we'll learn in this video tutorial for example list or collection interfaces do not have for each method declaration thus adding such method will simply break the collection framework implementation implementations Java 8 introduces default method so that list list or collection interfaces can have a default implementation of for each method and the class implementing these interfaces need not implement the same so if you look into the JDK API like uh, we have a list interface in Java Digital package this list, list interface extends collection interface again collection interface again extend i table and i table you can see a loop is called for each loop which except something is called consumer so this is the default implementation in interface itself now why java engineers have decided to add a default method in interface there is reason behind this right uh, so iTravel is the one of the interfaces which has been uh, existing in the previous version of Java uh, as well, right? So default method enables us to add new functionality to the interfaces without breaking the classes that implements that interface. Now, this interface, this def uh, for each method is defined in that this interface. Now iTravel is going to extend by collection and list extends li uh, list extends collection and uh, if you look into the like array list press control shift t if you look into the array list then array list finally implements list interface now array list is now uh, array list is not going to force to implement this for each method because this implementation default implementation is already available in the interface which uh, which is uh, which is going to implement by the uh, array list now uh, overriding of this method depends on the this class whether it wants to override this uh, method this uh, definition of for each or not that depends on uh, this class but uh, if this method does not override implementation of for each then this default method is going to be used so basically existing interface if you add some method in existing interface and whatever classes we are implementing this interface those classes is not going to enforce to implement these methods that's the reason java engineers have decided to add uh, default method in interface so I hope you understood this point. Now uh, you can have a more than one default method in interfaces. So with default functions in interfaces, there is a possibility that a class is implementing two interfaces with the same default methods. The I have implemented this scenario in this project. Uh, the following code. Uh, explains how the ambiguity can be resolved so here is my one interface i1 which is having a default method is called display and having two another interface i2 which is also having a method with same method signature display and i have a welcome class which implements these two interfaces right so in that case compiler will force you to override this display method right because in java multiple inheritance is not allowed so here you have two options first solution is to create 
an own method that over, overrides the default implementation. Here you can write your own implementation, right? Like this. In real scenario, you can have a complex logic, but here just I'm printing a message like hello. And if you try to run it, then you'll get this message. Right? Now, second option you have a second solution is to call the default method of the specified interface using super keyword so here's second option you have a you can call super uh, using super keyword you can call the default implementation of the interface itself so this method is pointed to the uh, method which is defined in the i2 interface and if you run this program then you get the output from the display method which is defined in the i2 interface again you can make call to the method display method which is available on the i1 itself so if i try to run then both method we are calling from uh, display itself right so this way basically compiler resolves the ambiguity if same method signature is available in the uh, more than one interfaces and your class is implementing more than one interfaces now as we learned in previous video tutorial we can define uh, a static method a static default methods as well in interface and interface can have a, a static helper method from java 8 onwards so if you look into the classes uh, like press control shift t and go to the map interface right which is available in the java.util and here you have a uh, something is called entry so entry is the inner interface which is inside the map so map dot entry now here uh, map dot entry you have a uh, existing some static method right these are these are the method which is defined as the static in the interface so sometimes if you go for the interview people may ask you tell me the some i mean uh, static method which is defined within the interfaces so you can tell them this kind of example and uh, implementation of default method you will have our several i mean collection uh, collection api there you can get the default method so here in this api you get you can see the uh one of the small marker saying that d d means default implementation so you'll get a lot of default method is defined in the most of the interfaces if you go to the list interface then list interface also have a default method right now that's a that's all uh, i wanted to cover in this video tutorial in next video tutorial uh, we are going to learn some more features in java uh, 8 uh, we'll see what is the functional interfaces and a lambda expression in next video tutorial and thanks for watching this video